In this video, we're going to take a look at working with the Stickman animations that come with Hand Drawn Whiteboard Mega Bundle Pro. And so these are available in the MOV QuickTime format and the GIF format. Now, or GIF if you call it GIF. So uh, they include the alpha transparency. So basically, you just get the Stickman itself, and then everything that is not the Stickman is showing through the background, of course. And so there's a series of ones. If whenever you see a zero, you're looking at the front perspective. And if you scroll down, you're going to see 45 degrees, which is, you know, three-quarter perspective. And then 90 degrees, uh, there's a little bit of 90 degrees, which is side. And then 135 is sort of the opposite of 45. You're looking at, it's just kind of flipped. And so uh, when you're looking for, do you want to have just all front facing, then you go ahead and look for the ones that have zero. And so let's say, um, what I've done here is I made a quick little sample. I'm inside of... Uh, screen flow, you can use Camtasia, you can use uh, Vegas Pro, you can use uh, Premiere, After Effects, whatever video program you use is pretty much going to be the same thing. I, again, I like screen flow because it's really simple, it's just down to just these functions. And so I've taken a background, I've made it 1024 by 76, 768, so I have a nice white background. And then I just made a, a quickie, I, you can tell it's quick because I chopped off the top here, but Nevertheless, it's just a quick ping of, you know, as if I was doing a whiteboard presentation with a couple of points. And so now I can simply come over here and I can say, you know what, I'm going to have my stick man acting like he's explaining something. And so come back in here and I'm going to import that into the stage here. And um, he's up here. Let me just kind of move him over to the beginning. And right away you can see he's kind of small. I'm going to worry about that later. I'm going to try to get them in the, in the position right here. You notice that uh, all of them start and stop in a sort of a default position. And so if you're going to use multiple ones, what you want to do is go ahead and just get them in there. So let's say now I'm going to, I could do an idle, but I like to do freeze frame instead. Um, but let's go ahead and just, um, we'll, we'll cover that in a second. Um, and let's say, yeah, he's going to point at a point here. And he's going to point at another point, maybe. And maybe finally he's going to have a happy reaction. He's excited about the major profits that we're going to start getting once we finish this and start having an awesome whiteboard video. So let's get these all to kind of match up. So what I really want to do first is I want to get them to sort of be in the right position. So if I'm right now, you can see they've all moved. Okay, and so I move this one over here, and you're going to tend to do that. You're going to have, they're not going to be in the same position. There's a couple things you can do. Now, you would think that you could use the numbers, but um, you really can't because they're all different dimensions to begin with. So you really kind of more, you're going to need to usually have to eyeball it. I'm going to zoom in a little here, and then zoom in here. And what you can do is you can get them to overlap just a little bit like that. And now I can ooch this into position. I can oops. I can take this. I need to position it to where they're overlapping again. I was using the arrow key. And so I just kind of get them to overlap. And a lot of times you don't really have to be totally perfect, but it does help to be zoomed in. And I can get them to sort of I can't remember. Yes, I can. I can use the arrow key. And just kind of get them into position. And once I have them in the, in the same position, I can move on to the next one. I'll come over here, and I got I can select this one, kind of position it again. Now you can see that it it's not the same size. I might need to size it up or down a little bit. It's it's got a little bit of size differential there. I'm holding down the shift key to size it similarly. And, you know, just get it in a roughly similar position, and then I'm going to reposition it, and then I'm going to do that finally with this last one here. Get that to come over here also, and once again, it's a little small, and I can hold down the shift key, and I'm going to size that just to kind of get it the same. And, you know, you can spend more time getting it all perfect. Um, I'm not going to, but, you know, and then you can simply kind of get them to go together. You know, it's pointing. And then it's pointing again, and it looks like he's just kind of doing a series of 
just sh a shifting. So, you know, you're just doing human motion in between them. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And once you've got something like that, um, what you can do is you can select them all and then size them up together so that they're, they match. Uh, they fit, fill the stage better. And you can position them wherever you want and so forth and just get them to kind of be in your presentation and once you're happy with it you're good to go so I do want to show one more thing uh, he did shift over a little bit here but let's go ahead and look at one more little thing here I mentioned the freeze frame so if I wanted to kind of like add in a pause there's a couple of little things you can do here's one thing the freeze frame so I'm gonna make it to where when he's finished moving you might have a little bit more to say before you want them to continue to animate. And another thing that you can do, sometimes they're going to be pointing and you want to pause it right there. And so what you can do is, I'm going to go ahead and cut that and move that aside and then add a freeze frame there so that basically he's holding that pose for a little while. So I go right here and there he's pointing and then he goes back. And so that's that's a sort of thing you can do. And so there's a lot of things you can do with the stickman animations just to embellish your whiteboard video animations. Have a lot of fun with this.